Bonjour, mes élèves. Today we're learning about possessive pronouns. So to start off our lesson, we'll review something that might sound somewhat familiar, which is a possessive adjective. Then we'll talk about the difference between a possessive adjective and a possessive pronoun. We'll talk about what the singular possessive pronouns are in French, as well as the plural possessive pronouns. And then lastly, our favorite thing to do, how do we use contractions with possessive pronouns? So to start off, this should hopefully fa sound familiar from French 1 last year. A possessive adjective shows to whom something belongs. That's why we have the word possessive here, not because it's somebody who's crazy jealous or psycho or something, but because it's showing possession. So the ones that we learned for my would be mon, ma, or me, your, ton, ta, te, or votre, slash, vos, depending on whether you're talking to somebody where you would use tu or you would use vous. For his or her, son, sa, or se. For our, notre, or no. And for their, leur, or leur. So it's important to remember that when we are choosing these, remember it's based on the object. So whether the object is singular masculine, singular feminine, or plural, it has nothing to do with the speaker. So although I'm female, if I'm talking about a masculine object, I'm still going to use mon. And if you're a guy, even though you would think to use mon, it's ma based on the object. So think about the object, not the subject. So what's the difference between a possessive adjective and possessive pronoun? Why learn more things? It's not just to torture you, but you can probably figure out the difference just from the terminology of the grammar here. So a possessive adjective describes a noun by showing to whom it belongs. And that makes sense, because if you think about it, that's the job of an adjective. It describes a noun. So an example is, it is my book. In this case, my is a possessive adjective. Because the noun is still there, it's now described by the word my. So this is an adjective because it's giving us more specific information about this book. On the other hand, a possessive pronoun replaces a noun. It still shows to whom something belongs, but it replaces the noun rather than just adding to it by describing it. So an example would be saying, it is mine. Both of these sentences show who the book belongs to, but there's just different contexts. You wouldn't want to say this out of nowhere, because if people don't know that you're talking about a book, you'll probably sound a little bit crazy. So in this case, we see the noun has been replaced by the word mine, so that makes mine a possessive pronoun, whereas my is a possessive adjective. So like I mentioned earlier, when we use singular or plural possessive pronouns, it's important to remember that we're talking about the object, not the person to whom it belongs. So when you try to decide whether to use the masculine form or the feminine form, always go based on what you're describing, not based on yourself. So the examples of possessive pronouns that we have, for mine, there are two ways. Masculine would be le mien, feminine is la mienne. For yours, if you're talking to somebody with whom you would use to, the masculine is le tien, and the feminine is la tienne. His, her, or its, masculine is le sien, feminine, la sienne. For ours, for masculine, it's le nôtre, for feminine, it's la nôtre. For yours, for formal, it's le vôtre, for feminine, la vôtre. And lastly, for theirs, for masculine, le leur, and feminine, la leur. The plural ones should look pretty familiar. Secret hint, just add an S at the end of each one. Again, we have masculine forms and feminine forms. And as a reminder, surprise, we do not pronounce this S at the end. So I could read these all off to you again, but they will sound the same. Les miens, les miennes, les tiens, les tiennes. You get the idea? Just make sure that you have these down in your notes. And remember, again, even if you're talking about mine, even though I, me, is singular, if I'm talking about more than one object, I need to use this plural possessive pronoun. And then lastly, contractions with possessive pronouns. If you see the prepositions a or de before a possessive pronoun, the article in the possessive pronoun, so that part that's either le, la, or le, that, and then the preposition, either a or de, will form a contraction. So for example, with a, if you have a and then le mien, this doesn't just apply for mien, I'm just using that as an example. Anything with a and then le, it'll become au mien. 
A and la, we remember, stays the same, so this would still be a la mien. A and le, we should remember, becomes o. It's pronounced o, same as here, o, even though there's an x at the end. So this would be o mie. And then a and le, same for the feminine, would still be o mien, with a slightly different spelling here. And then contractions with de, de, and then le mien. We know that de and le combine to become du, so it's du mien. De and la stay the same, de la mien. De and le become de mien. And then same thing here, de and le become de mien, but for feminine, a slightly different spelling here. And then again, same with a and de. This does not only apply to mien, I just only wrote out these examples. It could be de plus le tien would become du tien or du sien, stuff like that. Anytime that you have de and le, it's going to combine. That shouldn't be something new. This should just be a refresher. Et ça c'est tu. Make sure that you have all these possibilities written down in your notes for class.